Hey everybody, Jacob Counts here, uh, New London Guest Services lead. Um, just wanted to kind of reach out and do a quick video and share a story that I um, I just met with a, a gentleman uh, recently baptized and just uh, part of his story really connected with the importance of what we do as we serve on Sundays uh, through the church. And I wanted to share it with y'all. And one thing I want to share, uh, say kind of up front, I don't want y'all to hear what, what I'm not saying. Um, so the evil one is, is crafty and he came to distract and destroy. Um, and so this is a story of, of him doing just that. I don't want y'all to hear in the story um, that I'm saying uh, anybody serving did anything wrong. That's not what happened. Um, what happened was the evil one, the father of lies, did just that. And so I want to share that so you, we can all just celebrate the importance of how Jesus uses us. So I met with a gentleman, um, and he had, he had uh, stopped coming on Sundays um, for multiple reasons. Newly baptized, he stopped coming to church, just was having um, just a hard time feeling like he was finding a, a place to connect. And there's layers of things in there. But one of the elements was he felt like us having uh, the evil one had convinced him that, you know, us having greeters um, because they were greeting everybody and um, just a layer of different reasons that it was the old bait and switch that, um, you know, uh, there must not be nothing there if we're, we're trying to make such a big deal of it. Um, if, if, you know, they're, these, the greeters are greeting everybody. So, you know, they're just uh, being fake and, and trying to get me in here. And, um, you know, uh, again, can just the old bait and switch, if you will, is kind of the best way to say it. Like we're trying to convince him of, of something. And, and uh, think about that. Think about that. Something beautiful, something that was meant to glorify God. The evil one can grab it and just run with it and manipulated. Um, luckily we were able to have a great conversation and left with a different perspective, but we have to keep our, our ourselves aware of that. Um, and with that, we have to be, uh, even before we get to the buildings on Sunday morning, just the importance of being prayed up, you know, spiritual warfare is real. Um, we have to be prayed up. We have to make sure our hearts are in the right place that we are serving, uh, Jesus, uh, from the from a from a good place that as we're serving our guests that we're not distracted that we're are authentic because we're serving out of a response to God um, all of that stuff just makes it harder for the evil one to manipulate the situation uh, when we come in with our hearts in the right place and also think that speaks to the value of what we do um, we are there to in engage people where they're at and and to serve them and to love them and again to be authentic to be welcoming because if 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 Jesus is pulling folks to the church then of course Satan is going to want to distract them in any way he possibly can and so we are Jesus's plan A we are the ways that he combats that and what a privilege it is to do that and to do that together and another thing you know in the midst of that just remember you are his masterpiece and serve with that peace of mind when you're there you're serving the guest don't be distracted by what the evil one's doing don't even let you know remember it be prepared for it but remember who you are serve with authenticity Stay focused. Don't allow yourself to get distracted. Um, I was going to tell this uh, story at, at prayer on a Sunday, but I just wanted to be able to share it with everybody. Um, so that's why I'm making the video. So um, it is truly an honor to get to serve Jesus with y'all. What we do is important. Spiritual warfare is real. And we are Jesus' plan A. So I look forward to serving with uh, everybody that can come and, you know, and serve in person. That's wonderful. I look forward to serving with y'all. And just ensuring people don't miss the grace of God. To ensure that they move closer to Him. Um, so hey, let's go. Until then, see y'all later.